we are inside Gandhara. This is one of the holiest mountain of uh, the Peshawar Valley. This is its present name is uh, Shahbaz Gadi. The uh, mountain of Kalamar is beyond, which is the which is also a very sacred mountain to the Buddhist faith. Here, we are shocked to see this monastery being ruined by the people, being destroyed and being broken down into pieces. Because this is December 2019. The last time we visited here, it was December 2015. We also make a video of this site. And at that time in 2015, it was a very decent site. It was good enough. You will see the stairs, you can see it. It has been broken down. The people of Pakistan, they are very peaceful, they are peace-loving, they are very hospitable, they respect these kind of monasteries, the places, they knew it. But this has been left without any person, without any person attending it, without any security guard, without any barbed wire, without. It is not even in the notice of this government and this department and this archaeology. Yes, they have a lot of things to handle, but I think the world's Buddhist community, they need to take action. They need to contact the embassy of Pakistan and they need, they need to come here. The international archaeologists, historians, researchers, because if the four years are passed in 2022 or 2025, this thing would be vanished. We will also share the previous video that we make in uh, 2015, December 2015. You just see that video and now this destruction. And I think now the Pakistan government is working on promoting the religious tourism. They, they are working, they have, you know, a lot of funds to spend on. So I think the, the new minister for culture, who is very active, uh, and he is hosting the monks from the Thailand, from the Korea, from the Sri Lanka. So I think he should take the notice as this is his area. You can see it. The last time we visited here, it was a wall, very fine, very good. But now what they did with it, this is pathetic. Look at this. This has been broken down and the site is soon vanishing. This is why this site is important and why I'm em emphasizing of this in, uh, on the protection of this site. Because this is, the, the Buddhist may knew it and the Buddhist community should comment on it. The Viswantara Jataka, the Jataka Tales. This is actually a place of the Jataka Tales. Mm. This is a kind of a stone uh, which we saw in the other, uh, in Aziz Dairy. It was fixed uh, in, the, in the middle of a stupa where uh, we discussed that there are four pillars and the fillers, uh, pillars were made up of this kind of stone. So it is clear that, you know, uh, a stupa has been destroyed and uh, uh, it has been, you know, look at these rocks. This is uh, not the, the, the rocks of this mountain, but this is the rocks of these buildings, of the walls of, the, of this monastery. And look how, how much they are. We, you know, don't have a drone camera. You can get a clear image of this destruction. But let's see, we will try to give you a more picture of this, this destruction. And uh, this uh, seems to be uh, a part of uh, a Buddha statue. Look at this, look at this, 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 this image, this and uh, this. So it has been, you know, broken down. A very uh, sorry state of this uh, historical place. So this is the monastery of uh, which the King Ashoka built in the memory of uh, the Prince Sudama. And uh, you have seen this deplorable situation. This has been destroyed. And uh, I would like to give a little bit uh, about its importance. So. This is the book Ancient Geography of Gandhara, a commentary on a chapter of Hohenstein, who visited Gandhara in the 8th century. So this book is written by the A. Foucher and translated by Har Greaves.
it, it, it says the principal interest of the town in the eyes of the pilgrims and of archaeologists is that somehow or other it had become the seat of the most celebrated of the Jatakas. It is well known how in the course of his penultimate existence the future Buddha born a princely heir in a royal family under the name of Viswanthara had, real, uh, in the name of Viswanthara had realized on earth the perfection of charity. To begin with, he went so far as to give to some Brahman strangers a miraculous white elephant which had the power of producing rain at will and which was a state treasure. Banished from his country for this act more generous than diplomatic, he then gave in arms even on the road to exile his horses and his chariot. Finally, a wicked Brahman and the king of the gods succeeded in finding him in his solitude and obtained from him his two children and even his wife. It needs, if we may believe the legend, no less sacrifice to become a Buddha. That which he concerns us here is that of all the religious foundations which were in the neighborhood of Polusha. There were some which did not recall some opposite episodes of this edifying tale and was not supposed to mark the scene thereof. Huan San alone mentions the stupa and Sangarama, the two always go together, which were found outside the eastern gate of the town, a narrow rocky defile enclosed between the hills in the only access to Palusha on the east. So this is the motherland of their faith. This is the motherland of Buddha. This is the motherland of humanity. But it has been left unattended. Without any notice, nobody knew about this thing and it has been left to the people to destroy it. This is uh, such a deplorable uh, situation of this Gandharan archaeology. And my request to the world community, to the world archaeologist, to the world historian, to come and to contact the Pakistani government and to save, to save this jewel. This is really, really important for our coming generations to come and for our Buddhist philosophy, for our Buddhist culture. This is the roots and this is the history and I think you will not find anything more historical than this in the world. This is the oldest structure, this is the oldest monastery in the world of Buddhism. And here it is left unattended. Uh, we are uh, coming down from the monastery of Prince Sudama and uh, now we are going towards uh, another side and uh, uh, let me tell you about the importance of this city its current name is uh, Shahbaz Gadi which is in district Mardan or in the Peshawar Valley uh, the other the old Chinese travelers Fazian and Huan Sang they visited this city and they narrated a beautiful picture a prosperous humane picture of this city uh, and uh, thousands of monks were living here